What are your rights as the parent of a missing child? I'm fixing to give y'all a little bit of help and one tool to utilize if you have a child is miss that is missing. of crime crime chatters um i just wanted to give um a little bit of information of, to parents who have children that are missing because i truly believe that knowledge is power so parents of missing children typically struggle with law enforcement and everyone else getting information about their missing child but as a parent as a custodial guardian or next of kin you have 100% the right to all information about your missing child. And that is what I would like to share with you guys. Okay. This is from the U.S. Department of Justice Office for Justice Programs, the NCJRS Virtual Library. And it's the Missing Children Act. Okay. The missing, children's, the missing Children Act greatly broadens the level of assistance the FBI can give in the investigation of a minor's disappearance. The Missing Children's Act requires the Attorney General to seek information assisting in the location of any missing persons, including children. The act also gives parents, guardians, or the next of kin access to the information in the FBI National Crime Information Center's missing person file. Inquiries can be made with physical descriptors alone, but the possible but the possible inquiry route has been expanded through the creation of forms for detailed medical data on a missing person. Voluntary programs in which parents have their children fingerprinted further increase the depth of information available for entry and or inquiry. The act requires the FBI to check for data on missing children at the formal request of a parent, guardian, or next of kin. When a child is located, the FBI informs the concerned party and the investigating agency and advises them to contact the proper field office. But the FBI is not responsible for returning the individual to the concerned party. The act has certain limitations. It gives no new investigative powers to the FBI and does not cover the kidnapping of a child by a non-custodial parent. Although under certain circumstances, the FBI can enter parental kidnapping cases under the Fugitive Felony Act. When the child reaches the age of emancipation, both the fingerprint cards and the missing person files are deleted from the active list. Local and state authorities remain the primary agents for handling missing children's cases. Graphs indicate the change in missing persons report since the act's passage. Two footnotes are included. And you can go look those up <clears throat> if you want to. And I highly recommend this web page to everyone. But these are the things I would like to go over. Um, and this is going to be a little bit of a backstory to uh, the 911 phone call as well. Um, is there corruption going on in Sumner County? If the district attorney had a missing child, would he not enlist the help of the FBA? I'm sorry, of the FBI? to find the said missing child? Would he exhaust no effort and no help in trying to find his child? 
I find it egregious that the FBI is being denied, being denied the ability to take over this case whenever there's one thing that still looms in my mind that I can't get over. Whenever you call the Sumner County Sheriff's Office before 8 a.m., it says, if you have an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Hmm, I'd say a missing child was an emergency. But right after that, it says, if you know your party's extension, you may dial it at any time. Our office hours are between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. You have reached the Sumner County Sheriff's Office. If this is an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. It's on repeat. So who was Chris Proudfoot's extension that he called? Who did it? Who did he reach? Hmm. Who's the one that got a hold of dispatch and let them know after Chris dialed that extension? I just think that's a very valid question in this case. Um, but the main thing. I wanted to get to is if there's not corruption and stuff, why hasn't all of this information been released? Why isn't all of this information being given to Seth Rogers? But there is hope. And as it says right here, the act requires the FBI to check for data on missing children at the formal request of a parent, guardian, or an ex of kin, Seth Rogers. File the form. File the form. You have a right to the data about your missing child. You have powers as a parent. Use them. But this is not just for Seth. This is for anyone who has a missing child. You have the right to the information about your missing child. 100%, you absolutely do. File the form for the Missing Children's Act. As always, you guys, I appreciate you tuning in. Please leave your comments. Please leave your comments um, in the comment section below. And as always, like and subscribe and share. I greatly appreciate it. You know we're a new channel and we're growing and we can use all the help we can get. Let's hit a thousand subscribers. With that said, you guys, Lock your doors and windows and remain vigilant. It is a crazy world out here. And as always, share a smile and save a life. You never know, the life you save just might be your own. And with that said, friends, blessings and good night.